and Amina Barak's mom, the wife of Amiri Barak, she taught us a song, a Kwanzaa song that we saw, sang at that time. And words right in Kiswahili, C C Y two, Weusi, Watu. Wazuri, Hamoya Tutashinga, Sisi, Watu, Weusi, Watu, Wazuri, Hamoya Tutashinga. In English, that means we are black, beautiful people, and together we will win. And together we will win. I'm not a good singer, but I'm going to give it a try. Sing with me. Way you see what you are to Pamoya to Tashinda, Pamoya to Tashinda. We are black, beautiful people. Together we will win. Together we will win. Sing again. We are black, beautiful people. Together we will win. Together we will win. Together we will win. There's one more thing I want to share with you. Some people who are collectors of black memorabilia gave me a present several years ago. You know what these are? Wow. These are the chains in which our people were bound going slavery. Touch this chain. Touch this. Wow. These are slave men. These are real slave men. Our ancestors struggled for 245 years to get these chains off of them. There were hundreds and hundreds of slave rebellions. We rebelled from the very beginning. We rebelled on the shores of Africa. We rebelled on the slave ships. We rebelled in the marketplaces where we were sold. We rebelled in the cities. We rebelled on the plantations. There was not a decade in the history of this country where our people did not fight to get these chains off of them. And many of them fought in different ways. But the point I'm trying to make is they paid a terrible price mm. to end this slavery. Mm. A terrible price. Do you children know that a person could be killed for teaching a slave how to read and write? Yes. A white person could be killed for teaching a slave to read or write or count numbers. But despite the penalty of death, our people learn letters, mm. and they learn numbers, mm. and they use the letters and the numbers to help them get free. Today, you don't have to worry about somebody killing you because you have a book. Mm. You have the right to go to school because that right was paid for in blood by your ancestors. 
Literally. Everybody, in the name of all of our ancestors that paid that price, should make the most of the opportunity to go to school and to study hard that's right. and excel. That's right. Because that's what Harriet Tubman would want. That's what Sojourner Truth would want. That's what Frederick Douglass would want. And you know the other thing we have to do? Stop fighting each other. That's right. Stop hurting each other. Right. Stop cursing each other. Stop arguing with each other. Stop being mean to each other. Stop shooting each other. Stop stabbing each other. Stop killing each other. Do you think our ancestors could have thrown these shackles off if they treated each other the way we are treating each other today? We are one people. We are an African people. We are all bound up together. And even though we might not come from the same family, we're the same blood. Our past is a common past. Our present is a common present. And our destiny is a common destiny. You children, you are the future leaders. The condition of our people in the future will be determined in great part by the leadership you give when you come of age. I want you to study hard and become teachers and doctors and lawyers and engineers and architects, builders of community. I don't care even if you're a street sweeper, be a great street sweeper as Dr. King said. Whatever you do, do it with pride. I'm going to tell you something. When I was in South 17th Street School, I learned as much from the janitor as I learned from the teachers. When I, I was the eraser boy, and I would take the erasers down in the basement where they would have that machine to clean the eraser, and the janitor would talk to me and say, Larry, you doing your homework? I saw you out there on the corner. You need to get off that corner. I saw you drinking that wine. You need to get off that corner. That's not going to come to any good end. The janitor was as mu as important as the teachers were. So we face a lot of challenges today, but we are a great people. Don't be fooled by these terrible conditions around you. Don't be fooled by all this killing. Don't be fooled by the negative things. We are a great people. The mere fact that we are here after 500 years of slavery in the Western Hemisphere is a great miracle and a testimony to our greatness as a people. We overcame slavery. We overcame Jim Crow and all these negative conditions that we face today, we will overcome them if everybody does their part. Mm. I want you to do your part. Mm -hmm. Obey your parents. If your parents are hard on you, it's because they don't want you to make mistakes that they make. Listen to your teachers. Be involved in your community. Go to college. Get degrees. Yeah. Do well, but come back and help your people. Mm. Come back and help your people. So, when you think about slavery, remember that you in this room, on this day, on the 28th day of December, 2013, you touched the instruments of oppression. When you see those pictures in the books, when you see those movies about slavery, remember when you touch this chain. Remember when you touch it. Yeah. Do well. That's Thank right. you. Power to the people.